I'm going to go to Lissadu and I'm going to turn this around 180 degrees so we're on the north side actually as you can see that's looking straight south uh, we're going to kind of look a little bit southwest that's pure southwest right there we're kind of between south and southwest south southwest the hiking there is apparently not recommended but magnificent because it's the largest cliff space in the world i'm actually looking at this now and that is aqua so beautiful such a beautiful aqua color what are we looking at here i have a picture of that mine right here it's called the letsung diamonds mine and it's in lesudu you can see this pattern of roads that goes next to it along the side of it basically to access and distribute the materials what's created is kind of a symmetrical separation you can see the road that goes along the edge between the two pits and you can see these roads going in different directions you see two settling ponds over here and then you also see these dumping grounds here these new mountains that have been created it's called ob dumping or overburden dumping you can see the individual dumps the material that came out of here it got processed it may have gone into the settling ponds but then it was dumped into the overburden this is a modern day mine now i'm going to show you some similar roads next to some similar circles that i'd like you to think about this i've shown quite a few times you can see it's 4.73 miles and you can also see some similar edge roads now here's what i came up with these skinny little roads coming up here central fuge here and you can see a skinny road going here maybe maybe a little bit wider but over here it's very wide you see a straight line going up a, it's just a straight line this is kind of a 90 degree but you have this little shortcut now why would it separate well when you're driving down the road and a car comes and there's lots of places you can swerve why not just get out of the guy's way i believe that this area had two trucks wide these were more than one truck wide so people are passing each other trying to get by each other and they're saying screw it i'm just going to make a new way through here now why is there actual missing stone these so-called trucks must have had some type of ability to break the bedrock and create the path going through it when you back off you can certainly see the patterns there was a line going around this berm here and all the material somehow either matched this previous scoring or the lines matched it also this thing here i've seen a few of those in other locations i did put the thumbnail of this video up to show you two different escarpments that are based on this 90 degree grid and you see one here that i showed it's got the following road it's got the shortcut path it's got the thicker here it's got the thinner here two cars one car each and it happens to be 100 meters apart when it meets this other line. Approximately, approximately. I mean, I'm not going to say that there's anything specific. This is quite spontaneous and random. Now you can zoom in on both sides and see that they matched this exact process where they created a 90 degree cross on the top of a plateau. Here's the 90 degree. Uh, that's not necessarily north-south. Don't get tricked by me. I did reorientate them. They're not north-south, but there's a cross. And then you've got this shortcut road that appears right next to it so do you think this is natural you still think this is natural uh, by the way i can show you one more of these things and when i find it I'll, I'll put it back up there's a lot of similarities in these different mountain structures and you can see that there's similar mining and i still think that it must have happened about a hundred thousand years ago so i don't even know if it was humans this one is the other one that i showed you this is 50 meters wide right there now here's the structure I showed you in the beginning. It has a, a pit at the end here, just like this. This was more circular. And you've got an isosceles triangle right on the top. I'll show it to you since I didn't. This triangle is perfectly isosceles. I know you don't see the point of it. It disappears, but you can definitely follow the angles out. There is a line right here, though, that seems to create that isosceles triangle. And it seems to be going over what I'm calling an ancient mine pit because I don't think that that could have created naturally and I don't think it was a crater from a strike I could be wrong it's got one shoreline inside it or it seems like it's it's pretty old this was the other one 
it's a plateau it's got the cross but it's it's not really that same big structure that you saw you kind of have the ancient wall kind of meeting over here to some other mountains it's a hundred meters just like that other one from this point this 90 degree intersection to this little this is definitely not the same angle but it seems like that there was some type of a travel going through there as they took the materials away from the actual mine to be processed so the minerals and the essential things could be removed here's another one here it's going right through this natural which is older that or is that I believe that this is older than that it has to be so hundreds and thousands of years have gone by maybe more maybe less maybe even as Michael Tellinger theorizes a million years of activity by maybe not humans definitely a lot of mysterious lines and I showed you this line how it changed the mountain top I, I in the beginning I was thinking still 10,000 12,000 it all finished in the Younger Dryas. But then I realized this story must be more related to the whole 40,000 years ago, Lumeria, uh, the ancient pre-Atlantis. I mean, Atlantis, when we talk about Atlantis in history, we talk about its end date. 12,000 years ago is the end of Atlantis. So when was the beginning of Atlantis? But that was... Uh, See, I'm, I'm saying these old plateaus in South Africa all have these cut-through lines. Hey, maybe they were ancient scars from a, a cataclysm and have nothing to do with humans. You can find these structures. There's all over the place around here. Here, see what I what I call the cross top plateau. The let's go to the 2D. Seems like a lot of these plateaus have these crosses going through them. These ancient intersections meeting right at the top of the plateau so why do they exist they're all over the place okay let's see if I've gone through everything there's a few other things I wanted to show you so here's our thumbnail I'm gonna start from the beginning and go through everything we've talked about maybe there's something that will jog my memory I did not create a script for this presentation today this is actually very close to that mine you can see this this road which is covered with that same color as the mine this is just some lines that are going through mountains I mean if I was just to see this once I would say that's totally possible obviously this line is older than the mountains themselves this line is older than the erosion that occurred on top of it however it, we see it so many times See, I even put a link to that cliff face, so you can go visit it yourself. We see these little things. Okay, so this is another one where you see natural eros erosion and escarpments being blocked off by a line. I mean, which came first? You're not going to tell me that there was a water event that ignored a wall and didn't remove the wall when it removed all this plateau, but it left this wall here so perfectly preserved. No, the line had to have occurred after. And then you can see the artificial mountains here and here. What created those? Again, the natural eroded escarpment then being walled off. Okay, here's another example of the crisscross, only visible by sky. If you are down on the ground you're never going to be able to figure out that this is a perfect X this is actually um, I found this uh, kind of by itself somewhere and I thought gee if I hadn't seen all these other examples of this stuff I would never say this is artificial I thought this was kind of crazy and uh, lots of parallel lines here with what I'm calling artificial mountains. We could click on that and take a look if we wanted to. Again, this was what I called the smoking gun. If you look through my videos, this natural escarpment from erosion, not tectonic plates, 
gets walled off here, here, over here, this whole area. This is near Lesudu. Lines going through mountains. Ge geometric shapes popping up in ancient mountain caps. Lines going across giant mountain ranges. As the crow flies, going somewhere, not like the water. This is the Orange River right here. The Orange River is quite prominent. And you've got this ancient line. Oh, actually, that looks like it turned right there, doesn't it? I have to go back and look at this. Did it turn? So these are all clickable. You can check them yourself. These two roads, one's going one direction maybe, and the other one's going the other direction. Moving mind deposits. It's very hard to see, but it's a plateau with an X on it. Some more interesting top of the plateau roads. Here's another one of those little nodules that occur. This is all South Africa, and some is happening inside Lesudu. I mean, these are houses. So if the groove is bigger than a house, what created that? If these grooves are going in 90-degree angles, these are the 90-degree mountains. And that is the groove that's leaving one of those. I think this is an interesting one. This is uh, to the left of Lesudu on maps, so it's kind of west. You can see these ancient lines. I can't remember which way. Yeah, this is going directly north, so this is going directly east-west here. But you've got, again, the same occurrence where you've got these roads encompassing areas that, look at that, that triangle totally encompasses that project. So you've got project, let me zoom in on that. So we've got a triangle there. And then we've got another line that was added here. And then we've got another line that was added here. And then one going across there and one going over this direction, and the materials removed here, the materials removed here. Is this natural erosion anymore, or is this like an example of mining activity that's so old it seems to have just disappeared into the land? Right there, let's zoom in. So when you come up to the bottom of Lesudu, you can see some other activity right here a little bit but the what that one structure is right there at this little ridge right there and there's some type of like i said parallel also if i measure that is it going to be a thousand yards across these are meters let's change it to yards and let's get a little closer and move that out Again, a thousand yards. Now, I'm not saying that these these beings were blessed with the same feet we have. A yard is three feet. What a yard is is a pace. A pace is about three feet. Look at how this this these structures come down. You think that's a volcanic drip? Also, have you noticed that a lot of them have these bridges going across at one point? There is a groove there. So, what created these bridges and why did the bridges, I mean, I, I kind of thought that, when I say bridge, I mean a link of land, kind of like a land bridge. But, I mean, here you can see it could have been a flowing, like a, almost a river basin. And you can even see a little bit of a river there. But the question is, I'm thinking they were just roads, going one going one way, one going the other way. I don't know. And then what happened here? Was this some type of a... A smelting pit of some sort I mean what was going on here there's this pit is very similar to the pit that I pointed out over here it's right here 